everyone this is dr meer shah once again with another video in this video we are going to learn how to calculate annualized forward margin also known as afm under the chapter foreign exchange market under the subject international finance in this video we are going to learn uh, three different types of sums which will be covered up under the same topic of afm uh, finding different different things in that same formula okay Uh, so again a very important topic from the exam point of view there's always one question based on afm in the paper so see that everyone goes through this entire video very carefully okay now before starting solving the sum we will be first uh, i'll be showing you the formula we'll note on the formula and thereafter we will solve three sums based on the same formula but finding different different things okay chalo so let us see how to solve the sums Okay, now uh, before starting the sum based on annualized forward margin, let us go through the formula. Annualized forward margin, known as AFM, is equal to AFM is equal to F minus S upon S into twelve upon N into hundred, where F is your forward rate, S is your spot rate, and N is the number of months or days depending on the question. So annualized forward uh, margin is nothing but forward rate minus the spot rate upon the spot into twelve divided by the number of days or months into hundred. After solving this whole thing, if you get the answer in positive, it is known as uh, you will have to interpret and state that the, the base currency is at premium. And if you get the answer as negative, we will have to conclude stating that the base currency is at discount. So basically, we are trying to find premium, uh, whether the your form, uh, you know, analyze forward margin, the percentage what you are going to get, whether it, you are going to have a premium or you are going to have a discount. That is what we are going to solve or find in this particular formula. Okay. So now, in order to understand this, we are going to take up three different sum. In one, where they we will be finding analyze forward margin. In the second type. Where annualized forward margin is given, and they are asking you to find the forward rate. And third, when annualized forward margin, forward both are given, they are asking you to find the spot rate. Okay, so three different sums which will cover up this entire topic. Okay, chalo. So let us see one by one how to solve those three sum based on annualized forward margin. Okay, now let us see how to solve problem sum. Where they are ask us to find the annualized forward margin, also known as AFM. Okay. Now we are going to take up three different sum, uh, whereby with the same formula they can ask us to find three different things. Okay. So, chalo. Let us start with the very first sum. Uh, in the first sum, they are given you spot USD to INR is fifty four point eight one six five. Three month forward USD to INR is fifty five point one three double zero. Calculate the three months annualized forward margin and interpret the result. Okay. Now that is the question that they have given to us. Now let us see how to solve this sum. Okay, very simple. Now we'll use annualized forward margin ka formula. Now we know that annualized forward margin. The formula is equal to Forward rate minus spot rate upon spot rate into twelve divided by the number of months or the period into hundred. Okay, we will we just have to substitute the value in the formula. If we get a positive answer, we will say it is a forward margin. If we get it a you know you you will get it as a premium, and if you get a negative answer, it is at discount basically. Okay, so now let us substitute the values and check what what things have been given to us in the sum. Now the forward and the spot rate, both the values have been given to us. Okay, they are giving you the forward rate, they are giving you the spot rate. Now we just have to substitute the values. Okay, carefully. So now the forward rate was fifty five point one three double zero minus spot rate, which is fifty four point eight one six five. Upon the spot, which is fifty four point eight one six five into twelve raised to n, they are giving you three months forward, so I'll write it as three into hundred. Okay, now very simple. You have to subtract, divide. 
again this will be divided and thereafter you just to multiply so it will be 55.1300 minus 54.8165 upon 54.8165 so we minus we divide again 3 ones are 3 fours are okay it will be into 4 into 100 then whatever answer you will get okay that will be your your annualized forward margin so after dividing multiplying you know subtracting the value that everyone should get is 2.2876 percent so my AFM is 2.2876 percent and now they have told you to you know interpret so interpret will be very simple we need to mention that the base currency is at premium since the answer is in positive so the base currency is at premium okay that is that AFM is 2.2876 percent okay that's my final answer so we just need to substitute into that formula and thereafter we just have to place it okay substitute it that is the first one type of sum where they give you spot forward and they are asking you to find the annualized forward margin. Now like look at the second question. They have given us spot rate of USD to MXN. Six month annualized forward margin has been given to us. And now they are asking us to calculate the six months forward USD to MXN rate. So in this sum, they are given you AFM, they are given you spot and they are asking you to find the forward rate okay so now let us see how to solve the sum again formula will be same afm is equal to forward minus spot upon spot into 12 upon n into 100 now here afm is already given to us annualized rate is already there 3.25 that's at premium is equal to forward is not available so forward we need to find so i'll write forward as f spot is already given 12.3325 upon 12.3325 into 12 raised to n it is a six months so i'll write it as six into 100 okay now if you solve this further uh, this become basically six ones are six twos are two into 100 is 200 when i send 200 on the other side we can get the value as 3.25 upon 200 is equal to f minus 12.3325 upon 12.3325 okay so now, 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 very simple. Now we will again bring this to well there. So I will get this as 3.25 into 12.3325 upon 200 is equal to F minus 12.3325. Okay, so on the calc 3.25 into 12.3325 divided by 200, we should get the value as 0 0.200. Four zero. Okay, that we need up to four decimal. So two zero point two zero zero four. When you add so is equal to f minus twelve point three three two five. Now since there's a minus when it goes to the other side, it will become plus. So it will be plus twelve point three three two five is equal to f. So point two zero four. okay so when you add up i'll get my final answer as 12.5329 as my forward rate so i can finally write therefore the six month forward usd to mxn is 12.5329 okay so using the same formula okay using the same formula we were able to find uh, the you know first in the first we found afm in the second afm was given and the access to find the forward rate 
okay now the third one okay i hope everyone have understood the first and the second sum now we jump to the third in the third they are given you 60 days forward usd to chf is given to us 60 days afm at a discount of 0.75 percent is given and now they are asking you to calculate the spot price okay so again it is almost similar but in this now forward is given and they are asking you to find the spot rate so afm is equal to forward minus spot upon spot into 12 upon n into 100 afm is now here it is negative okay since it is given a discount i write this as negative 0 0.75 is equal to forward is given to us as 0 0.9508 minus s upon s into 12 upon 60 days okay here they're giving you 60 days so i'll keep the n as 60 days into 100 okay so now 12 divided by 60 into 100 okay now just remember here's one thing since this is 12 was for number of years but here since it's given days so this 12 will get converted into 360 okay we will convert this to 360 because since it's days so 360 divided by 60 into 100 will come to 600 this part the entire thing is 600 now this is into when it goes to the other side it will become divide so negative 0 0.75 upon 600 is equal to 0 0.9508 minus s upon s okay now now now, now very simple so what i'll do here is now i'll take it cross multiply it i will divide and cross multiply it okay so 0.75 divided by 600 will give me negative 0 0.0012 okay is equal to 0 0.9508 minus s upon s now cross multiply it will become negative 0 0.0012 s is equal to 0 0.95 0 0.8 minus s now this is positive and go see the the side it will become now see now now we'll keep the numbers on one side and we'll take the values on the other so now now this is okay so now now this is negative 0 0.0012 s this is minus s so when it comes to this side it will come plus s that is nothing but plus 1 s is equal to 0 0.9508 okay so when you subtract now, now here if i take it on the other side it will become 0 0.0012 minus 1 uh, plus 1 but since it was negative so it will become positive 0 0.9988 is equal to, uh, s is equal to 0 0.9508 so 0 0.9508 divided by 0 0.9988 okay i will get the s ka value as you know this is into so when it goes on the sides it will become divide okay so after dividing we should get the spot value as 0 0.9 0 0.9520 okay 0 0.9520 that is nothing but a spot price okay it, so therefore finally i can say that that the spot they wanted the spot USD, so therefore the spot USD to CHF is 0 0.9520. Okay, so again, uh, using the same formula, we were able to first find annualized forward margin. Same formula, may we were able to find the forward rate, and in the same formula, we were able to find the spot rate. Okay, I hope everyone have understood this. Okay, how to solve problem sum when they've asked us to find the annualized rate or annualized forward margin, also known as AFM. Okay, so with that, we will be ending this video here. I hope everyone have understood it. Thank you.